India's lunar rover detects first elements ever found at the moon's south pole. India only landed on the moon last week, but its Chandrayaan-3 mission has already made its first scientific observations of the lunar south pole. By shooting lasers at the surface, the onboard rover has confirmed the presence of sulfur, the Indian Space Research Organization, ISRO, has announced. It's the first rover to ever explore the region of the South Pole, of course. The laser-induced breakdown spectroscopy, LIBS, instrument on board Chandrayaan-3 rover has made the first ever in situ measurements on the elemental composition of the lunar surface near the South Pole, ISRO said in a statement. These in situ measurements confirm the presence of sulfur, S, the element S, in the region, and ambiguously something that was not feasible in the instruments on board the orbiters. Preliminary analysis also hints at the presence of aluminum, iron, calcium, chromium, and titanium. Further measurements also revealed the presence of manganese, Mn, elemental symbol, silicon, Si, and oxygen, O, added ISRO. Thorough investigation regarding the presence of hydrogen is underway. While China, Russia, and the U.S. have all landed on the moon, previous attempts by Russia and India to reach the South Pole had been unsuccessful. The South Pole is thought to be the most water-rich area of the moon, and the Chandrayaan-3 rover known as Pragyan will spend the next two weeks using its laser to hunt for signs of frozen water, as well as studying the atmosphere and figuring out the composition of the South Pole. Frozen water could be incredibly valuable if found on the lunar surface, seeing as it could one day be used to produce breathable oxygen for future lunar bases, and could also provide ingredients for rocket fuel that could help send missions to Mars. The name Prang Pragyan is derived from the Hindu word pragya, meaning the highest and purest form of wisdom, intelligence, and understanding. The small rover weighs only 57 pounds, that's 25.8 kilograms, and is roughly the size of a small German Shepherd. It's equipped with laser-based LIBS tool, but also an alpha particle beam. LIBS is able to detect elements by firing intense lasers, at the lunar surface and generating hot plasma. By studying the light from that plasma, researchers can identify the wavelengths of different particles in that particular chunk of the moon. We can't wait to see what else it finds over the next few weeks. And this is on Science Alert by Fiona McDonald. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Please support my Patreon account the daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support, and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.